it started with the wind. Here in Bluffton, the wind comes dancing across the Calabogie Sound. It has performed here since recorded history first began taking notes. And then there's the sounds. Did you know that heat and humidity change sound waves? The pitch of a musical wind instrument increases as its temperature increases. The subtropical climate in our town slightly alters how you hear the music. And then the light. Bluffton is an artist's garden. The light is wonderful for growing things and painting dreams. The luminosity of light in Bluffton has been compared to Provence on the Mediterranean coast. These things bring us our legacy of art, music, and culture. You can follow the wind up the May River to the little town on the bluff. We're one of South Carolina's best kept secrets. In the 1800s, families turned to music and the arts through their churches, side by side with the traditions and spirituals of native Bluftonians of Gullah descent. As wealth, wars, and poverty took their toll on the bluff, it was the artists who came to the place where the wind and the waves are reflected all around. Bolton Brown, renowned Woodstock art colony lithographer, began wintering in Bluffton in the 1930s. His appreciation for the beauty and serenity of the area beckoned him to return often. Several artisans discovered that beauty and tranquility of Bluffton as they established their studios in historic Old Town. With an influx of talented and passionate artists in the 90s, the planters' summer homes continue to be a vital part of our art heritage as we recreate them as galleries, boutiques, and museums. By 2008, the Bluffton Arts District was branded. Our love of the river influences all that we do in our art, our festivals, and our music. Plus, we're not afraid to get our hands dirty. Today, we invite others to share our culture through our Bluffton Buddy mobile app to talking portraits in the Hayward House as younger generations discover the archaeology and games of the past, from our funky Christmas parade to our arts and seafood festival. We like to say that Bluffton is more than a place. It's a state of mind. There's even a street named State of Mind Street. We have a historic, quirky, artistic, and fun culture. So the designation as South Carolina's sixth cultural district continues Bluffton's amazing state of mind. Our little corner of South Carolina is part of the many outstanding places throughout the state that provides a piece of the overall cultural landscape. We're proud to join our sister cities as one of the recognized cultural districts. Thank you.